In this video, I'm going to show you how to work an SSP decrease. It's the Perl version of the SSK decrease. First thing is that you're going to want to slip the next two stitches on the left needle one at a time knitwise. So what that means is I'm gonna take my right needle, I'm gonna insert it into the next stitch as if I'm going to knit it, but then I'm just gonna slip it over to the right needle. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the second stitch. Then you wanna slide these two stitches back to the left needle in this new position. So you're going to insert the left needle into the front of each of the stitches one at a time, just like that, and slip them back to the left needle. Now you wanna make sure that your yarn is in the front of the work. Now you wanna purl these two stitches together, but through the back loop. So I'm gonna just, to be able to show you this a little bit better, I'm gonna turn the work a bit. So to purl through the back loop, I'm gonna to wanna to go into the backs of both of the stitches like this. And then purl them together. Purl through the back loop can be a little tricky. So let me show you one more time. So first we're going to slip these two stitches knitwise one at a time, then slip them back to the left needle and then Purl two together through the back loop. Sometimes I find it helps to utilize my left fingertip here to kind of torque the stitches a little bit, but you wanna get into the backs of both. And here, if I flip this and show you, so I wanna go into the backs like this and then purl them together. So that is how you work a SSP decrease.